Tyronn Lu rejected an offer to coach for the Lakers. I can't believe the Lakers messed this up. Reportedly, there were two main reasons why Tyronn Lu rejected the Lakers offer to coach the team. The first reason was because they tried to underpay him. Tyrone Lue is a veteran coach that deserves to be paid fairly, at least market value. And apparently they tried to undercut him, they tried to underpay him, and he wasn't going for it. And I don't blame him. The second reason why he reportedly turned on an offer to coach for the Lakers is because they didn't want him to choose his assistant coaches. They wanted to choose his assistant coaches for him. Tyron Lue is an experienced head coach. He should be allowed to choose his own coaching staff. So the Lakers reportedly did not want that. And Tyron Lue said, no, nope, sorry, no deal. I cannot believe that they did not sign Tyron Lue. LeBron James cannot be happy with this decision. And I don't blame him if he is unhappy. Because this was easy. Tyron Lue was willing to coach the team. All they had to do, reportedly, was pay him well and give him control over his own co his own coaching staff. And they they just declined. It makes no sense. I don't understand what they're trying to do here. And if they're not careful, LeBron's gonna get fed up. He's gonna say, you know what? I want up out of here. Or he could just retire. He's, he has enough money and the Lakers will be back to square one. I didn't think things would get any worse. I'm so surprised that they were unable to land Tyronn Lue. I thought he'd be the coach all along. As soon as Luke Walton got fired, I said, yep, the Lakers are gonna hire Tyronn Lue. And surprise, they didn't. I just don't know what they're doing. I don't understand this. And this is affecting them. I don't believe they're going to be able to attract any free agent stars. I don't think Kevin Durant or Klay Thompson or Kyrie Irving, I don't see them wanting to go to LA or Jimmy Butler. These players, they don't want to go to an organization that's unstable. So the Lakers are going to have to figure this out. And they can. Jeannie Buss can turn things around. She has that ability. It's just a matter of willpower and want to. If she wants to turn things around, she can. She's got to put people in place who are qualified for their jobs. She's going to have to acquiesce to LeBron James. Give LeBron James some power. He's a superstar. You have to do this. You've got to hear what he wants, have him involved in the process. But you can't have a power struggle with LeBron James. He's your best player. It's going to affect the team in the end. It's affecting them now, but it's only going to get worse. Your star player needs to be happy. You have to make concessions to your star player. That's just how it works. So we'll just see what happens. Hopefully things will get better because they're shaky right now. And that's pretty much what I have to say about that. Well, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for hearing me out. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I will be putting on more content in the future. And I hope you all have a blessed, wonderful day.